Thank you for joining me and colleagues in more than 30 locations around the world for the global launch of the 2012 Economic and Social Survey of Asia and the Pacific, produced by ESCAP, the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. The Asia region continues to face a challenging external environment, which is why the focus of the 2012 survey is to map the landscape to help steer through turbulence and volatility. The survey identifies major risks, but also presents analysis to inform policy agendas for shared and sustainable growth. I would like to highlight three aspects from the survey. The first is the threat posed to Asia-Pacific growth by the weakness of major developed economies. The V-shaped recovery from the depths of the 2008 global financial crisis proved to be short-lived. The world economy entered the second stage of the crisis in 2011 due to the Eurozone debt crisis and continued uncertain economic outlook of the US economy. Our forecast is that persistent headwinds will bring regional growth down to 6.5% this year from 7% in 2011. The high cost of capital and reduced demand for regional exports combined with loose monetary policies and trade protection measures of some advanced economies contributes to the slowing of Asian Pacific growth in 2012. Despite the slowdown, growth in Asia and the Pacific remains better than in any other region, continuing as an anchor of stability and a new growth pole for the world economy. South-South trade with Asia-Pacific in 2012 will help other developing regions such as Africa and Latin America further reduce their dependence on low-growth developed economies. A second key aspect of the survey is the challenge presented to Asia and the Pacific by commodity price volatility and especially the trend of rising commodity prices. High prices and persistent volatility are likely to become the new normal of the global economy. This commodity boom presents risks and opportunities. Price shifts will alter incentives, but the message from the survey is that less developed economies should resist the impulse towards commodity specialization, which in turn can delay industrialization, economic diversification, and the building of productive capacities. The third aspect of the survey highlights critical policy challenges and options for Asia-Pacific countries, including managing the balance between growth and inflation, using several inflation-fighting measures beyond monetary policies alone, coping with capital flows and dealing with considerable exchange rate volatility, addressing jobless growth and unemployment by encouraging domestic consumption to act as an enhanced engine of growth and productivity, improving working conditions and income equality. Turbulence and volatility generates uncertainty. The survey provides a valuable tool to pursue a sustainable path for shared prosperity in Asia-Pacific amidst the new normal of uncertainty. <laughs>